Hello fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Sword of Logos Buckle and Kabuta San Kyodai Wonder Ride book set. Uh, this is the buckle slash belt that is worn by both Kenzan and Buster because they don't have drivers on their belts. They have the giant swords that they use as their drivers or henshin devices. So they have this kind of generic belt buckle that has, you know, the one little like sheath piece and the one piece that can hold two books. So... This is really kind of more of a cosplay piece than anything because really none of this does anything. It's just to be, you know, accurate to their suits because they don't have drivers on their belt buckles. So, uh, and then they just went ahead and packed in the DX uh, Kabuto, Kabuto, yeah, geez. <laughs> Kabuto San Kyodai, I'm saying Kabuto, that's a completely different thing. Uh, Kabuto San Kyodai Wonder Ride book, Three Little Pigs, basically. Um, and this is the only way to get the DX version of that. So, kind of a cheap move in my opinion uh instead of just selling this singly for 10 bucks they make you buy this whole apparatus here that you don't probably really care about uh because literally this does nothing and if you're not going to cosplay as one of these two you know these pieces you probably already have if you wanted to get the dx jack and the beanstalk book and this is literally just a plastic belt buckle so what are you gonna do but if you want if you want the dx version of the three little pigs you gotta buy it. So taking a look at the top, again, they show Kenzon and Buster. I think even Slash at this point uses this, uh, but obviously he wasn't really in existence yet when this was announced and released. Um, not too much going on the bottom. That's kind of a cool shot of the two of them there like that. Over on this side, again, you have kind of a cool shot of the two of them, and you can see them wearing the buckle. I think it's kind of funny that like Buster would have this buckle that has this sheath piece because his sword will not fit in there. <laughs> and then this is actually pretty cool. Here's some artwork of Saber using the Three Little Pigs book because it does go all the way in the third slot, as you can see. So turning around to the back, uh, you can see that Kenzan's sword will fit in the belt buckle, but obviously Buster's will not. And then they show you how to use the DX uh, Three Little Pigs book. So batteries are included for the book, which is appreciated. But uh, the rest of the buckle doesn't make any sound, so no batteries needed for that. But I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the box here, and we'll take a closer look. Here's everything you get in the box. Uh, this obviously being the main attraction, I'm going to put this off to the side, and we'll get back to that in a moment. Now, I guess I shouldn't say this is everything you get in the box, because, of course, you do get belt pieces. You get belt straps that you can feed through all this stuff. I don't wear these, so I don't bother to take it out of the box. But this is just a plastic buckle piece there's nothing to this there's no electronics there's nowhere to put batteries it is just a buckle piece you have a little bit of gold paint here otherwise it is solid black plastic nothing to it so there's that and then this is the kind of sword sheath or scabbard piece holder whatever you want to call it and then you have this other holder on the side that can hold two books as far as I can tell, these are exactly the same as the set that came with the uh, Jack and the Beanstalk book, just now made out of like grayish silver plastic with a little bit of gold paint. Um, but just to show it off, I mean, you can go ahead, put books in here. So you can see it can hold up to two books. Over on this side, if you don't want to use it as a uh, like sword holder, sheath, whatever you want to call it, you can put another book over here. So that'll clip into there. Uh, but if you want to put a sword in there, you have to take that out. And then this will fit the Kenzan sword. You can see how it has that kind of channel there on the back, and that's going to fit in right there. So it will fit if you would like. So that's kind of cool. Um... But yeah, I mean, it's just not really that exciting. <laughs> I gotta be honest. It, it's a little bit of a cheap move, in my opinion, uh, to get a DX book. They make you buy this. But it's really no different than when they make us buy those, like, Sentai belt buckles to get a gimmick item. I mean, they've been doing that for years, and those things are almost always kind of the same thing. Like, this honestly makes me think of, like, the Nin Ninja one, where it just had that, like, you know, gold piece of rectangular plastic for the belt buckle, and then it had... The two, like, uh, shuriken holders on the side. This reminds me very much of that. So, it's not a new tactic for Bandai. They've been doing it for years, but, you know, it's their latest incurrence of it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and put all this stuff off to the side. Because, honestly, it's not really that exciting. But it does have uh, come with some belt loops and stuff. So, you can go ahead and 
put that all together. I mean, if you cosplay or something like that, you know, I think it would be great. Um, but I mean, I'm probably going to put it back in the box and, and never look at it again. But hey, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I apologize if it's throwing my lights off. It is a very bright fluorescent green color, almost fluorescent yellow. I like the cover. I think that's pretty cool. We got the three little pigs there, one, two, and three. As you can see, it is a book for the third slot of the driver. So that is the uh, rightmost if you're looking at it, leftmost if you're wearing it. Um, you have a little silver book symbol there. You got the speaker. This is where you pull the tab out for the batteries. So we'll go ahead and open this up. So you got the little QR code there. I'm assuming this is the brick house, and then I'm guessing this is the wolf trying to blow the house down. Kind of a cool little picture. And then we'll go ahead and pop this open. And there you can see, I think it's got like the head of the wolf, which is kind of interesting. And then it's got on the forearm the brick house, and then it also shows the wooden house and the straw house. So. If you're familiar with the three little pigs, that are the three different houses they live in. So, pretty cool. Not too much else going on with it, but let's go ahead. We'll bring in the sword driver. So first up, we'll go ahead and pop this in by itself. Next up, we'll try it with Brave Dragon. So pretty cool sound effects there. Obviously you can mix and match these books with whatever combos you'd like to make. I just wanted to at least show it off with uh, one of the combinations and this is the one it does feature on the box. So last couple things we can take a look at here. Uh, we have the Fusoken Hayate. We'll go ahead and try it in this.
So the sound effect from the sword is basically the same. You just hear the book play its own sound effect beforehand, but I wanted to at least show it off because he does use this in his sword on the show. So if we go ahead and unhook this, we can use it in this up here. Oh, I guess I didn't catch it. So again, I don't really think that the sound effects are any different because it's not a reader, but you can use this book to uh, get the sound, the attack sound effects out of the Fuso Ken Hayate. I wanted to at least just show it off because he does use these two together. So if we put this off to the side, the last thing we can check out. So there you have it. Pretty cool sound effects there. I uh, just wanted to show off the couple other drivers that can use this. So at the end of the day, it's just Bandai up to their old tricks. They take a DX version of a gimmick toy, pack it in with this set, make it exclusive to a belt piece you don't really care about. They've been doing it for years. Uh, they do it with belt buckles for Sentai. They do it with like power-up belt pieces for Rider. It's just more of the same. So really, it's going to just be up to you. How much do you need the DX version of The Three Little Pigs? It's a great book. I like it. Very glad I have it in my collection. Uh, the fluorescent green is a fun color. I think the cover looks really good. Sound effects and everything are a lot of fun. So I'm definitely happy I have it. But if you don't really care about the DX and you can get by with a candy toy or gashapon version, then you could go ahead and skip this. I mean, if you're a cosplayer and you really want like an accurate version of the belt buckle for Buster and Kenzon because you're planning on putting together a costume then I would say this is a good avenue to go down because it's definitely screen accurate to the two of them. But if you're like me and you don't even wear these things most of the time and you just wanted the DX version, you just have to decide if you're willing to pay the little bit extra for the DX version of this book or if you can get away with that uh, lesser non-sound effect version. Uh, for me, I really wanted the DX version, so I bit the bullet and I went ahead and just got this. Um, your mileage is going to vary. You're really going to have to decide what it means to you and if you need that DX version or not. But in the meantime... It is what it is. Uh, there's not really too much to say about the belt buckle itself. It's just a piece of plastic with some belt straps. And then there's two extra holder pieces on the side. So it is what it is. Nothing really exciting. Again, you're pretty much just buying this for the DX version of the Three Little Pigs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think it's worth it? Would you just stick with a Candy Toy or Gashapon version? Or are you like me and you wanted that DX? Let me know. Uh, otherwise, please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always... Thanks so much for watching.